maybe you've been to the pumpkin patch this fall already and you have one of your favorite pumpkins just lying around and you're wondering what to do with it. Maybe you don't want to get so messy and start cutting it. Well, Hill City Bride is here today to talk about uh, a painting pumpkins. This looks beautiful, Jennifer. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here you're with welcome. us this afternoon. Glad to be here. <laughs> so what are we doing? Well, we are making basically a marbled or a painted pumpkin and it yes. looks gorgeous, but it I does. can't tell you like literally a three-year-old could do it with some supervision. It is yes. a little bit messy, so. It's a different kind of mess than the cutting. Yes, but it safer. is. Safer, yes. Yeah, oh, this is easy. And this is a great way to transition your pumpkins. Like if you're tired of them being around, you can just do this and it kind of transitions okay. them further like into Thanksgiving. Yes. All of that too. But you're just going to need a pumpkin. Uh -huh. And wax paper is essential. Okay. Definitely want to do this with the wax paper and newspaper. Mm -hmm. And then I actually have a bunch of leftover paint. If you have, want to buy new paint or if you just have a bunch of bottles like I do that are like half full. You don't know exactly. what to do with them. These are perfect. So what you want to do is just wash uh -huh. off your um, pumpkin. Okay, gotcha. And so that you have a nice surface. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to just pick a paint color. So I'll let you pick. Okay. Um, this might be a good one because that is Okay. More. It's a little yes. bit more full. Okay, so we start with like kind of a base? Yes, you start with a base. And I would not go all the way up. So basically, you just take it okay. and just drip it around the pumpkin. And if oh, it messes up, okay. it doesn't really matter. Uh... Just kind of let that go around okay. and it, it literally doesn't matter what it looks like because you're going to put layers on and oh, so that kind of can be you. so messy. Okay. It can. <laughs> and it's going to, I tell you, this looks so ugly and then it all and of then a sudden it looks, looks better. beautiful. Okay. Yes. And so you can just keep taking colors. I even use a little bit of gold, which I actually wish I would have waited till the end right. to put the gold on. But basically layer upon layer of color and don't worry if it's not even if my green okay. runs out and I don't get it all the way around. There are times that if you want to get it to the very center <laughs> of your, are you making a mess? I know, I'm already made, I'm it's already fine, made a mess. It's fine, I promise yes. you it'll look pretty. And if it's not dripping down, you uh -huh. can always just oh, hold okay. on to the handle and do that. But and just gravity kind of turn it around. will work its magic and mm -hmm. I promise that it will end up looking like this by the time that you are done. Okay. So you can make this coordinate with your house. You can. Um, you could even use it for a fall wedding and have it whatever colors oh, are in the fall idea. wedding instead of just orange pumpkins. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's fun to have something that. Yeah, and that's like a, in, in some families do teal pumpkins, yes, you know, for right. food sensitivities and that right. kind of thing. That's a great idea. Yeah, so that it. would be like if you had all of these teal colors, because you already have them, just kind of paint one and then that's a really pretty way yeah. of, of doing that. Jennifer, thank you so much. I'm just going to keep going here. And where can people get this information? They can look up painted pumpkins on Hill. HillCityBride.com. Okay, Jennifer, thank you so much for being here with yeah. us this afternoon. Mm -hmm.